Hey, hey, everybody. How are you on this Wednesday night? It's 8.30 Central Time, which means it's time for Paint Talk. I am adding a little bit of our golden ticket directly over these columns. I'm just really lightly dusting them over um, this gorgeous color. You can see it really kind of made them pop. And um, that being said, if you're not familiar with what the Bohemian Brights are, you guys, these are the new colors from DIY. There are six of them, and I'm about to show you and kind of show you what they look like in action. This piece is not finished, uh, but I'm going to get a little bit closer to being finished on the live here with you guys. This is a piece that I was doing for my uh, mentorship group. I'm adding some golden ticket, and I'm going to also add some black wax. How are you all? How uh, Matthew's here. Yeah, hello. And Abby is not in here right now, only because there's just not quite enough room for her. Uh, but I'm working on this buffet, buffet, and I just want to um, continue kind of working on it tonight and get a little bit closer to finishing up. How are you all? Lisa, right? Do you love it? Um, so... I've used um, DIY paint. There are six new colors as well as um, Firestarter, Blue Iris, and Water Lily also mixed in here. Um, and I will show you what the new colors are. I have done most of this whole project with the Caddy Brush from Paint Pixie. Um, we don't have snow. We don't have snow, but... Um, it's, it's stinking cold. That's for sure. Is it supposed to? Is it supposed to snow? I don't. It's supposed to snow tonight. Oh. Tomorrow. No, you're lying. Okay. Are you being for real? All right. So I'm just gonna lightly dust some of this golden ticket over here. We have these colors available for pre-order. It's gone over really well so far um, with our retailers. A lot of them have them available on their website. So find your local closest favorite retailer and see if they have the paint coming in next week. I'm going to be honest with you. This piece would look fabulous, fabulous. in Janet from Northern Planet's new house. <laughs> Are you trying to sell it to Janet? No, 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 no. I like I'm it. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just saying. How would, it you, would how did you know? She could put probably she does I like bright colors. I would say anywhere from probably she three does. to seven trees on top of that thing. At Christmas she, time. At Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think here I think you got a great idea, Woodsy. Um so I have layered Debbie's from Debbie's Design Diary. It's DIY paints, paint I always use, but uh, we have six new colors, guys. If you haven't seen my posts, um, I also have six skirts back here, which yeah, apparently I'm gonna paint skirts. So up on the wall, there are six skirts just dying for me to make over. I mean, they're just screaming, paint me. <laughs> Janet's <Jerry> laughing. <laughs> and Janet's laughing. So what I'm doing, I did this piece um, the sides aren't finished. I'm going to turn it here in just a few minutes and I'm going to actually um, work on the sides and actually lay down some of the color. But I wanted this gold to dry and then I have black wax. So we're going to antique it a little bit. I want you to see my inspiration photo. Okay. Yep. See this? I saw it. I've seen it. I have had this pinned and saved on my Pinterest board for many, many years. You finally... You and I finally found, found the piece, have know. the right colors, and I'm going for it. So I'm just kind of really lightly, my brush is a little bit wet, and I'm just kind of lightly dusting over, really making those pieces pop. Matthew's phone's going off. I'm a pretty popular dude. Well, turn it off, Woodsy. And I'm going to do the black wax, but we'll turn it to the side here in a minute, and I'll get out the colors and actually start layering them. Uh, my base color was... Cowgirl Coral, you know me, I like to use my bright colors first as a base layer. But I'm really loving this deep, deep magenta down here. I think it's extremely striking. So I'm really trying to add the gold in slowly without overdoing it. Which, I mean, this piece is obviously really overdone, right? Like it's like, wow, in your face, phenomenal. And I'm just loving it. But I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and highlight this with some more gold because I, again I am putting the black wax. I'm gonna I'm, be. I'm gonna say boom. no. What? Yeah, I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be a soft no on that. A soft no. A soft no. You don't think I should? No. Really. But 
when do you ever listen to me? So maybe just a little gold over the here, like this. Mm, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a hard no on that. Wow, here I am going for it though. Just, I'm just doing a little soft coat of gold, Matt. My guess is you're just going to do it anyway. No, just a soft, a soft touch. So, you guys, um, if you're looking at this piece, I would, and you're loving, if you're loving it, if you're hating it, um, that's okay too. But you don't have to tell me. Um, but if you are loving it, tell me which color is your favorite. I had a lady on social media today say, I loved it before you added the yellow. And I said, oh my gosh, the yellow is the best part. And she said, well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And I said, oh, absolutely. I just don't know why you gave it to me. I didn't say that. It just made me laugh. She commented, I loved it before you did the yellow. And I just thought, why did you say that? Like, why say that? <laughs> but she's right. Everyone's entitled. Entitled. Oh, Bub's on here. Hi, Bub. Hence the phone going off on my husband the other a second ago. Yes. They're uh, yellow. Uh, Janet just loves it all. All of it, Janet. It, um, I know how to get it to you. Renee Smith says the orange, yellow, and the mint, minty color. Ha ha, that's funny. I'm going to show you the colors in action here in just a minute. I'm going to turn it to the side. But I'm doing just a really sheer coat of golden ticket on this frame. Then I'm going to get the black wax out. We're going to go back and forth. We're going to turn this. I'm just, I'm just basically having as much fun as I can. Yeah, I think the subtle gold was enough. What? Um, so we have passionate, which is a bubblegum pink color. You see kind of right here. We have that deep, deep adored chaos that's down at the bottom and a little bit up there on the top left-hand side. I got a shimmy, Jimmy. Uh, Christopher says, I love the orange and yellows. Orange and yellow, yeah. Maureen Me says, too. so pretty. Karen Brown says, hello. Hello, Karen Brown. How are you guys? Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, I had a busy day. We had five coaching calls. Uh, so I got to talk to a lot of the ladies today. It was a really beautiful day. Yesterday we did staging and photography course in my group. We're going to do that again tomorrow and Friday. So we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. I got to paint a dress. Ah, that was something I've never been able to do before. Anybody ever painted a dress? I'm not even one that's really painted on fabric before. So I don't know if it's going to last and I don't care. My main thing was that I got a really pretty dress out of it, and uh, it was it was just a lot of fun to do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have Jasmine Isaacs on tonight. Okay, Jasmine, where Jasmine. have you been? I hadn't, hadn't seen that name in a while. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> All right, so Bohemian Brights. So, this is passionate. This is adored chaos. It's a deep magenta. We have wandering heart which is a mint, like a really beautiful spearmint color. We have an orchid color. Now the paint's coming in four ounces. Four ounces only. Not eight. You're no, showing them an eight. I am showing them eight, but only four ounces. Um, this is unbridled love in this orchid color. And then we have a gorgeous purple. Okay. That's flourished. And then we have spirited in this um, deep, deep yellow, bright, 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 bright yellow. It's kind of a um, chartreuse. Um, the heat will help set it. That's what I hear. That is what I hear. Okay, so I'm going to turn this just a bit, you guys. I'm going to pour out my paint. I'm going to get my caddy, and I am going to blend a little bit of these colors on the side. Um, this was actually something I did in my coaching group, so it, um, I had time to actually build up my layers and go back and forth, and we just played and played and played, and, um, all that's left now for the front is the black wax, which I have right here. And I'm going to just go ahead and shadow all of this with some black. But I'm letting that gold dry nice and good. Uh, Debbie Carter, uh, she wanted to know what the name of the purple blue color. So we have the purple and this is flourished. Now, when I was painting, I took blue iris 
and I poured it out side by side and I mixed it on my caddy the blue iris and the flourish together to get this gorgeous color down here. There's even a little bit of the, um, the magenta in there. So again, I built up layers. I painted this in my, in my group. And so um, there was a lot kind of going on there. And we were able to build up our layers. The new colors are a different recipe. They're thinner. They're a little bit more of what I would call an adornment, like the jewelry. Uh, they are accents and work really well with the original formula. So you can see, this is what I started with up here. This is Cowgirl Coral. It's the original DIY formula. And these are a mixture of the colors. Again, I had Water Lily, Blue Iris, and some of the orange from Firestarter in with this. Otherwise, this is all six of the new colors. Tasha's loving the purple. Girl, it's so gorgeous. But if you saw my inspiration, this is what I was showing the ladies. I was trying to kind of teach from here. Um, and guys, if you want to help get the word out about the new colors and to contact their nearest retailer for DIY, that would be amazing. I do have them on my website um, for pre-order. We will ship February 1st. But... There are lots of retailers who also have the paint. And um, I would love for you to order from them as well. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go in. Uh, the way that I did this, it doesn't matter. You know, the sides are different. I don't have all that gorgeous scroll because I can kind of really do what I want. So I'm gonna pour out the Unbridled Love, which again is that orchid pink. Unbridled love. Unbridled love. I think you're talking about unbreak my heart or something like that. Unbridled love. No, I think. Love. Oh, that's a terrible sound. I think. Um, that's a terrible sound coming out yeah, of you. Yeah, I think the pixies. Look at this. The pixies. You're totally making up stuff right now. So I was teaching the other day and poured literally a quarter of my passionate out. I was so disappointed. Bub, don't laugh at him. It's totally a bubble gum. And I mean, uh, yeah, why did they? It's not in yet. It comes out February 1st. No, it's not. It's not out yet. Yeah. They haven't shipped it till the first Beverly. And it was a really good seller with the retailers. So, unfortunately, not everybody's going to have it the first round. So, if you have an, a retailer that you normally buy from, I would check with them first. Need some help there, Princess? Oh, no, I'm just having a great time trying I to get think all these it, out. What are you over there playing the bongos? What are you doing? <sighs> I had one of my girls, my, my Annie Smith today, she was like, my son was in the car the other day listening to you do that. And he was like, what is that sound? <laughs> Lance said it's Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. That's what I just said. Unbreak My Heart. Unbreak My Heart. It's a, it's a so, honey, you're so flat on that song. Like, you really are not getting that. Right? I don't even know the song. I'm just singing words. Well, you shouldn't. I'm just, I'm just talking and raising my voice up and down really, really fast. That's all you have to do. Is that what that is? Is that what that nonsense is? That's it. Lordy mercy, that was bad. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of orange because I'm pouring out everything on my color palette because I really want to use uh, the caddy brush because it makes my life easier. I'm just saying. So, color palette, what? It's a rainbow palette. Um, and now I'm gonna get this, and you can get with this, and you can get with that. Okay, Marlene still had a question for you. My Marlene. Is it, is, yes, yes. Is it still a clay-based paint? Yes, it is. A clay -based with water, like DIY? Question. It is mark. not reactivating. No, it's the same clay. It's a clay base. But it doesn't reactivate. No VOCs. Not that I'm finding because it has a top coat in it. Like all of that's. I don't need a top coat. I will not have to put anything on that. I'm choosing to put a black wax on it, but the difference is, is this has a built-in top coat. So um, you want to use whatever paint, you know, I'm using my, my DIY original formula and then I'm, I put my brights on and kind of building my way up, top coats on it. I don't have to, I don't have to seal it with anything. 
I'm wetting my brush. A lot, of, a lot of baby talk going on over there on the YouTubes. Baby talk? Yes, yeah, because yeah. Jasmine's on Yes, yes, yeah, she's going, she's going into her ninth month, honey. Oh, my stars, where have we been? She's been obviously being pregnant she's and been, just busy. She's and, been nesting, getting her yes. baby room ready. You know, how, you know, there's all kinds of stuff to do when you're, you know, you're. Yeah, I do. <laughs> when you're pregnant. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was that was a fun time in our life. Goes by fast. Then they become royal headaches. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Lolly says. Lolly says. Oh, uh, Lolly has raised like fourteen hundred yeah, children. She goes. She goes. You really don't. What did she say? I'm gonna have to find it. It's very funny, actually. Something about drugs at the age of thirteen. <laughs> Some kind of pill, she said. <laughs> For the parent, I'm assuming. No, 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 yeah. Uh, hilarious. Lolly has a... No, Lolly. And Lolly has raised a lot of children. Hello, Pam Dudley. That's good stuff. I am just going to play and kind of try to match it, but not worry about matching it exactly. Yeah, Tanette Major on tonight. Hello, Tanette. What's up, T? Okay, so the top, I can kind of just, let's pull this orange down. Good idea. I was going to mention that. Were you? Yeah, Where I was thinking you? probably should pull the orange down just a little bit. Thanks for the advice, bro. Yeah, no problem. Nice. Did you like my painted dress helping me with my photo shoot? Did I like your painted dress? Yeah. Well, I mean, I painted it. No, you didn't. I did it on video. You do not get to take credit for that video. Well, I showed you what colors to use and how to style it and, you know. Wow. Wow, yeah. let's see. Yeah. Wow. I am for hire, too, so just throwing it out there. You want them to hire you to help paint a dress? Yeah, I need to make some more money. Well, hello, Rohini and Tom. What's up, bro? Look what we're doing, you guys. Who's uh, Lauren? Lauren, just water to blend with the paint, question mark. What about mixing in the pigments to this? I am definitely going to do that. I haven't done it yet, but I have every intention of grabbing those pigments and getting them in here, too. Um, but I didn't do it on the front. I need to make sure I don't, you know, change things up too much. But I think it's going to be a great idea, and if you do it, tell me all about it. Uh, thank you, Irma. I appreciate you. What's Irma saying? She just told me that I'm very talented. Did she? Yeah. She gets me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Derek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Derek's always got my back, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure. Someone has to. <laughs> no kidding, right? Look at this color. It's magenta. It's pretty. Oh, gosh, I love it. I think you probably should work in a little magenta on the side, honey. What do you think? I think that's just brilliant. Honey. Okay. It is fair. just fair brilliant. That's fair. Let's see what we've got here. Meredith says, I'd love to see you paint a sunset on canvas with these colors. Absolutely. You know I'm going to do all that, guys. You bet. I would love to do that. Uh, I hope I say this right. I think it's Iveta. E e E-V-I-T-A. Hi, Evita. Evita. Okay. Says, I'm new here and beyond in love with everything you do. Oh, well, that's a nice thing to say. Well, welcome. I appreciate that so much. We are just playing with color. These are new colors from DIY. Um, if you want to help us get the word out, let us let everyone know we've got new colors that we're playing with. Um, they're bright. They're called Bohemian Brights. We still wanted to keep them all natural. We still wanted to, um, you know, have really high quality paint. Um, but it is a little bit different formula in order to get them in these bright colors. 
and it has a built-in top coat, which I know a lot of you are going to appreciate not having to use our big top or our liquid patina to seal it. It's kind of a really nice feature to have, isn't it, guys? And we're going to come back with that Wandering Heart, which is this delicious spearmint color, spearmint green. But I've got to let that dry. I'm going to shift back to the front, and we're going to add the black wax now. Elizabeth Wyatt, where does the big brush you're using come from, and what is that type of brush called? Um, I don't know what type it is. I first time I've ever seen it was Paint Pixie. I'm a retailer for them and sell them on my website. It's the only brushes that I use typically. This is Paint Pixie. They're the maker, and again, they're on my website. Um, I don't know what the style is called. Um, this was the first time I'd seen it. Um, Josie said it's called the blending brush. It's really great for blending, and I have used it to paint this whole piece. Um, but I'm just using three different ones. Okay, got it, guys? Okay, black wax now. So put the water away, put the color away. I'll do the other side later when we're off of the live so you don't have to wait on me. Tom says, reminds me of those multi-colored popsicles from the summer truck. Oh, love that. I know what you're talking about. Um, it should remind you of this door right here. This is my gold. This is... Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, this is my inspiration photo. And I do have these colors right now available on my website for pre-order. We don't ship until the 1st. Um, so if you have ordered them already, um, we've got your order stacked up and ready to go. Um, and once I sell out, I will, we'll have to wait for the next order. But it's first come, first serve right now, guys. It's a really, they've gone over really well. Michelle, um, who is obviously on here, uh, my Michelle, you can also go to her website and order from her. Uh, did you happen to see my question? Jennifer Williams has a question, sweetheart. Oh, did I miss it? I'll She's go back on, and look for um, YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Tanette, uh, does the new paint dry fast like original DIY? It does not dry as fast. It's taking longer to dry, so I have more time to work it. I also do not have to wet it um, as quickly as oh, I do. Got her question, honey. Okay. Jennifer Williams, I apologize. I missed it, but I found it. She asked, I've layered my kitchen tall pub table with seven layers of solid color. I want to try and sand it down to give it the look like you have here. Do you have any suggestions for me? Okay, I am not understanding. Can she painted, paint? she, she put seven layers of paint on her table. Seven layers or seven colors? Layers, layered my kitchen tall table with seven layers of solid colors. Colors. So I'm assuming different colors. Okay. I'm assuming because... So did you blend your colors? Did you overlap them? Uh, that would be my question is, did you um, did you overlap them and work all of the colors in while, while it was all wet? This is black wax. I'm going directly onto the Bohemian Brights. Um, I want this piece to be a little bit more antiqued. It's distressed, but I want it to be aged. Okay more contrast, which that is fire. Uh, Lindsay okay. Forte, Sophia said that looks cool. Woo, hey Sophia and Lindsay, two of my favorite young ladies. Uh, Jennifer Williams says, I'm actually using my own chalk paint that I make at home. Okay, but are you layering the colors? Like, are you applying them while they're wet? and overlapping them and um, that's what I want to know is if you how you applied it to get this look you need to um, work with the paint while it's wet we're framing that out with a little thin layer of black wax I do have a membership group where I teach constantly <laughs> and I have four years of tutorials inside that group that you have access to as soon as you join um, just a reminder, you guys, if you are interested in these colors, you can get them on my website. You can get them on lots of other DIY retailer websites. You can check out, check out the retailer map, or you can even go to my, Michelle's on 11 Eclectic and get them off her page. Uh, Rachel Pinsky has a good question. Can we use the heat gun to speed 
drying like we do with the original DIY formula. I don't know, sister. Because you let me know. it has a different base and top coat built in, or will it damage the paint to have the heat? I don't know, babe. I haven't done that yet, Rachel, and I don't want to answer you yet. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I um, never use a heat gun, and so I don't. I never even think about checking that. But I. I just. I don't know yet. So. Elizabeth Sorry. Wyatt, I know you said the Bohemians don't deactivate, but while still wet, can we use water mister to blend them? Did, she, did you say deactivate or reactivate, baby? I know you said the Bohemians don't deactivate. Okay, I think she but, reactivate. <clears throat> reactivate. I'm thinking she But does. while she, while still wet, can you use the water to mist to blend them? Yes, you can. You can use them while it's still wet. You can blend them. You can use them with water. I did do that when I was applying all of that, and I'm just kind of taking that all down a notch with the black, um, distressing it just a little bit. Cobwebs and bristles. Are the new Bohemian colors acrylic? Question mark. No. I heard they, they are not chalk paint. Am I correct? They are uh, still a clay base. They're still the clay base, no VOCs. They do not have any acrylic in them. They have a built in top coat, but. For example, you know how we have um, Big Top. For those of you familiar with the product, we have Big Top. It's our top coat sealer. It's just clear, has no color into it, no pigment. Consider it like that. It's still a water-based product with no acrylic. And this is the first piece I've done with the product, so I am still learning what's going to be best. I, um, I'm learning. I am learning what's going to be best, what will work and what won't work. And I promise I'm going to tell you guys as I learn it. Where can Jennifer Williams um, purchase the paint? She is in Mississippi. Mississippi. You go to the DIYpaint.co. DIYpaint.co website, go to the bottom and it will say find a retailer and you can see who's in Mississippi, who's nearby you. If you don't see anybody, you can go to an online retailer and you can order from their .com. There are quite a few of them here who have it on their website for pre-orders. We, like I said, we, we, we sold so many out of the gate that not every retailer is going to have them this first go round. Ooh, that looks so good. I love the way the black is just kind of bringing it down a notch. What do you think, Matt? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to put a little more black on this go down here. Hello, Betty. Hey, Betty. How are you, sister? Valerie Rose says the colors are beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm and this little stinker color right here is what held up the whole thing. Stinker color? Yeah, it's a stinker color. It's called Adored Chaos because it caused a bunch of chaos trying to get it just right. Because I really <laughs> love this dark magenta color. It is quite a stinker. So you really had to work that into the name, didn't you? Well, it's Adored Chaos. No, we actually named it before we got the color exactly right and it was like yep proven it proved itself to be a pain in the rear it took forever to get the color just right or i mean that was you know being picky about it as we should be right just wanted this deep color tasha really likes the black touch kind of says she looks good thank you sister it just um Just antiques it and I love it. Shimmy on down this way. Don't forget my butt cushion because every woman needs a butt cushion. <laughs> Did you just say butt online? I said butt cushion. They're going to kick you off for saying that naughty word. For saying butt. I have to have a cushion. No, it's, it's, a, it's a hyphenated word. Butt cushion. Yeah, it's hyphenated. Had to have it. Uh, it goes with cushion uh, so well. Right. Right. 
Um, so the other exciting thing we have going on, our purses launch a week from Friday and I have 50 bags. I know you remember me showing you, but we're going to have a live sale. I'm going to come on here and actually pull them up, give you the link and let you purchase them that way. So I can actually show you. It's easier to see rather than in a photograph. They're going to be on my, well, they're already on my website, to be honest with you. They say coming soon. So you can go ahead and check out my website and actually see which ones are available. I have limited quantities of each, meaning less than five of each. Um, Cause we have 11 styles, um, but we will be on um, a week from Friday doing a live sale for you guys that are interested in a new handbag or know someone that needs one. They're quite lovely this year. I am really happy with the, with the designs and how they came out this year. Laura McCarroll says, I'm always amazed at what you do to furniture. Thank you so much, Laura. I guess I just like to take the approach of having fun. I also try to treat, try to treat my pieces of furniture like they are really a canvas. Anything you can do to a canvas, you want to be able to do to a piece of furniture. This is fantastic right here. almost like a gritty aging that is colorful door would endure the elements. Oh, honey. That's exactly what she was going after. That, the best comment you could do. Absolutely. Nailed it. Put a check, put a heart, put a thumbs up. Like, if you think I nailed it, thumbs up me. Thumbs up you? Thumbs up in the comments, please. Right there. I got it. It did kind of like simmer it and bring it down, didn't it? Love the turquoise. Me too. Yeah, you, you nailed the colors really well, honey. I got it. I got it. So that's the brights with the gold and the black wax. Thumbs up there. They think I got it. Okay, so over here on the side, are we dry yet? Nope, we're still wet over there. So I could flip this side around, but honestly, I'm tired. You did, you worked all day today. I worked all day. From I started really rough, kind of ticked off, had a really rough morning. But my day has gotten better and better and better. So what's your plan for the dresses? Uh, these are skirts. Oh, well, what's your plan for the skirts? I'm painting them. Can I paint them? I have tool skirts. Ooh, can I get out the spray paint? And I'm painting them. I'm gonna have six available. Can you what? No, we don't spray paint them, honey. We're using the new colors. That's the whole point. I have a mint one. OMG, look how cute. Oh, so fun. And I'm going to hand paint each and every one of those. Elizabeth, is the golden ticket that you used? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is. What do they think of my skirt idea? Um, I think you're going to get some thumb up, thumbs up. Well. I think I should. I think I should. I think I should paint one. You think you should paint a skirt? Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want. I'm going to do the black one. No, that's what I know. Uh -uh. I'm yes. excited to do that one. No. I'm going to do the black one. No, you're not. Well, let me do the gray one. Then. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you really get what it's, what, what a skirt should look like. A skirt should look like a flowy thing that girls wear. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nailed really? it. Really? Nailed it. Hmm. Uh, 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 Dion, you know Cookie is going to want a Dion skirt also. Let's get her one then. Cookie has to have one. She's going to already have a red hat for Miss Cookie. She 
she's got a red hat and she wants Miss Dion to paint it for her. So we're going to do that. Not a problem. Tom has a request. All right. He would like for you to do maybe a, a utility, a kilt, utility kilt. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. Now, I would, aren't they generally I would actually, multicolored already? I would actually like to paint some leather or actually have my um, <clears throat> my print turned into leather and have it printed on leather, which I could do. I've thought about doing multiple times. I have a resource for it. I just wasn't quite sure who would buy who would buy it. So if I know there's a need for it, let me just have to consider this. So we still haven't got to put our wandering heart in here, but we've got to get everything dry because it's kind of like our top coat. Wandering heart. Nope, not a song that you should sing. It's nope. Always wandering oh, on the trail. I'll turn this into a country song. That's pretty good. What is it? I think it was. Womp, womp, womp. That's what all I heard. Give me five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be done. I'll be out of your way. I'll be out of your hair. I just want to give you a really good idea what these colors look like when they're on here. Uh, Lizzie says, I love you. And Dot Sophia, love, brain, puppy, unicorn, butterfly. Absolutely. That's amazing. I love all of those things as well. Thank you, Carrie. See, Carrie Carter appreciates my music. I, it's not that I just don't like appreciate I pre it. I appreciate Carrie Carter's music. <sighs> it's a good thing you have somebody on your side of the... Carrie Carter. If you're going to say your name right, say it like not No, I'm flat. singing it. I'm not I know, but it. you're like, you have... The I'm tone singing. is flat, honey. She deserves... Thank Carter. you. She deserves... <laughs> She deserves a tone. Every oh you guys, if they're if everybody's signing off right now, this is all your fault. <laughs> yeah, our, our viewership just went way down. Of course it did. <laughs> you just scared the crap out of them. Uh, okay, okay, I'm missing some. Uh, Too busy singing. You're not even paying attention. Um, that will never get you. You know, think right now we could concern the team. This is very true, very. Um, Who said that? My mom? Jennifer Williams. Hey, Matt, tell her I let each color dry in between each application. This was back to the oh. kitchen. Well, that gets a little bit harder to get this look. It's really best to paint with colors when they are all wet and you blend them all kind of in together and overlap them into some layers. Um, you could, if you wanted to get, do some wet distressing. I don't know if your paint that you make does wet distressing, but you could get a rag. It's got latex in it. Okay. And well, she waited before she okay. added, yeah. Um, you're going to need to just probably use this, an electric sander to pull back some of your colors if that's what you're after. I'm sorry, that's probably not the answer that you want. I think I'm going to write a country song. <clears throat> Are we back to this? Yeah. I'm going to have Carrie Carter. We're going to do a duel, you know, yeah. a collaboration. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to, we're going to make up a song using all of the colors of the paint. Of this paint? Mm -hmm. So Unbridled Love. Unbridled Love. Oh, what's, another, what's, another, what's another one? Wandering Heart. Is wandering hard. Oh my gosh. Honey, we're trying to gain viewers, not actually run them off. I think we can make it happen. I think that sounds terrible. I think we could do it. She might be able to. She, You're right. She would be a big asset to your team. Oh, 100%. And well, and Rita, hello. You no, probably, Rita, Rita. You're going to have to have Rita and Carrie. Rita's going to be lead guitar for sure. Well, yeah. I'll just be rhythm. 
Oh, really? Yeah, I'll be the rhythm guitar. Right. And then we'll have Rita over there just, she'll be, she'll be playing some, like, the lead and just, like, bending the chords. And it'd be crazy. Bending the chords. Yeah, yeah. And then Carrie be up front on the microphone, mm -hmm. and I'll just be kind of, you know, rhythm guitar is kind of always on the side, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But I'll have my microphone, and then I'll chime in. I'll just assist her voice. You know what I mean? I'm surprised you don't want to be the lead, honey. It's not like you. No, no. I think I think Carrie can take the lead pretty well. Of course she could. I'm just surprised you're going to give it to her. I am having the absolute most fun with these colors. Does it show? Because I've like gone into quiet land. Yeah, you went you went to happy place. Actually, I wasn't sure if you were done singing. Oh, no, I'll get after it. Mm -hmm. Get after it. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is the pink one called? Which one? There's there's three pink ones, honey. The the bright pink one. There's passionate. Pa is it called passionate mm -hmm. pigment? No. That's a that's that's a person who watches us. Oh, that's right. It's just called passion. Oh, she's passionate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm that's, gonna have to learn all these new colors again. What's the green one? Orange, lime green one. The lime green, that one. Yeah. What is this? That is one? not lime green. This is yellow, yellow, which is a chartreuse color with a drop of yellow. What's the name? Then this is that is spirited. Spirited. This is our spearmint green called Wandering Heart. Spirited spearmint Wandering Hearts. Oh my gosh, we're going to have such a hard time. It's going to be tough. This For the first six or seven months, I'm going to have a hard time with these colors. Let's study it. Study it? Yeah, you need to study it. I will, I will do, I will study. All right, any questions regarding paint, please? Any questions regarding paint? I love it! You're pretty pumped about it, Woodsy. Gonna get the top done. I gotta finish the sides, but the front is finito. Is that a word? Finito. Finito. I think so. Okay. I think it's Italian. Okay. Any more questions before we say good night, farewell? Uh, Lori Clark, is the formula similar to the other colors? Wonder because I think you mentioned a slight sheen, maybe. Sorry. If this has been mentioned. That's all right, Lori. I will say it several times, and I'll be more than happy to explain it. It does have a sheen in it. It has a top coat in it. So it is a different formula with a different base in order to get these bright colors. It is mixed with a different bright uh, or with a different base. So the formula is a little bit different, which is why we have um, different labels. They will be in four ounce only. They're more of like the jewelry. So I put in the base of DIY. I put cowgirl coral down. Um, I have some of our blue iris, our water lily, the original colors, and I've mixed it all. So that's what we have. We have our six original colors plus three, uh, excuse me, six of the new plus three of the original to get all of this right here. So um, they're similar, but they are a little bit like thinner. They are brighter and they have a sheen on them when they dry. So I don't actually need to seal this with anything else. I hope that makes sense. And I'm learning too as we go. So um, this is the first piece of furniture. No worries, my girl Lori. No worries at all. Can I paint a cupcake? Why, well, sure. <laughs> oh. Matt, you missed my question. Irma, no nickname, had a question. I missed a question. We had 48 at one point. Yay, YouTubers. Oh, you guys, thank you. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to do more videos, I promise. Um, all of our retailers have stuff. Hey, Michelle Sells, I love you. Are we missing anything? Well, I'm trying to find. Yes, Lori. I just now waxed over them, Lori. I have had, oh. I just put black wax over this. Um, yes, absolutely. Betty, thank you. Irma wanted to know if I was a class clown. No, he wasn't. He never in trouble, never has been in trouble in his life. Um, growing up, he was good. Um, he may have like been ornery, but he was not going to get in trouble at school. 
Not a chance. No way, Jose. No, he would not have been disruptive or rude. He's just being ornery right now because he gets bored easily. That is not true. You're not bored? No. I love, I love when. Oh, I know you do. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, more yellow, more cowbell. More cowbell, that's right. <laughs> I do need more yellow on the sides. I need some wandering heart because I didn't even get to the, the spearmint color, which I love so much. Um, but that's kind of going to be like the top coat. It's got the, the, the top coat in it with the sealer. So um, I don't have to use the clear wax. I don't have to do any buffing. I will because I've got the black on here. Um, but I could have just left it the way that it was and walked away from it. I didn't have to put the gold. I didn't have to do the black. But since this was my inspiration picture, I thought I nailed it. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll be back Friday night. I will have guests on from my Empowered by Design group. Um, and then Sunday we'll be on painting something. I don't know what. And then, um, like I said, a week from Friday, we are going to have a live sale with all of my handbags. And um, they're quite lovely, and I'm really proud of them and excited to share them with you all. If you ordered a hat, Matt shipped all of them today, UPS. So be looking for those um, on your porch in the next couple of days. Everybody, have a great Thursday. If you're in Empowered by our uh, Creative Connection, we have a live staging and tutorial part two tomorrow at three o'clock central time. Kathy Keat, thank you for sharing this video. It means the world. If you're catching me on the replay and you have questions, drop them in the comments. Take care. See ya. See ya.